Gamer Nom is back. And for this video, I am going to show you a guide on how to get Odin Sword, Enma, Yama, or whatever this game calls it. Okay, so let's start the guide. For our starting point, I chose the first island in the third sea, the port island. So from this point, go to that mountain, you will see an island. Oh, but before that guys, shout out to the developers. There you go, there's a swimming animation now. Shout out to them, very cool. So now guys, you need to go to this island, and that island is the castle on the sea. And then you need to look for this NPC, the Elite Hunter. Okay, talk to him and ask for a quest. Again guys, you can get this quest every 10 minutes. For the quest, he will ask you to look and defeat someone. Don't worry, the Elite Hunter will tell you the island where you can hunt them. So for example, this one, Hydra Island. Next up, for the progress, you need to defeat it 30 times, okay? You need to finish this quest 30 times, okay? Some, some other players told me 24, 25, but guys, just to be sure, 30 times, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do it. And also guys, yes, the Elite Hunter will tell you the island, but not the specific location, and that's the hard thing. Don't worry, I will show you all the locations in this video okay okay so now let's check it out let's go in the first island the hydra island again guys once you've known all the locations everything will be easier let me just do it once for you and i will show you all the locations so for example you located one i say jablo yes they're very easy to defeat the elite hunter will ask you to look for three the one is jablo which is the dark awakened user Next up, we have uh, DeAndre. Yeah, he's the Fire Awake, uh, no, Magma Awakened user. Guys, all of them are easy to defeat, don't worry. Next up is Urban. Yes, the Rumble Awakened user. So now I will be showing you all the locations. Let's start with the Floating Turtle. From what I know, we have seven locations here. So from the entrance, go first one. Let's check this out. Okay. Just on top of it. That's the first one, okay? First one. For the second location, again from the gate or the entrance. Same. Just turn right now. Right. There you go. And there it is. That is the second location. Again, we have seven locations here. Again, from the entrance. Third location, guys. Straight, straight, straight. Okay. Remember this, pineapple tree houses? There you go. That is the third one. Third location. For the fourth location in the floating turtle. Go. Go. Okay, turn left. Go. And right. There you go. That is the location. For the fifth location. Now, guys, coming from the mansion. Okay, from the mansion. Go. Left. You will see this. Remember this? The elephant man. Just go straight. That mushroom. There you go. Last two. Again, from the mansion. To the left. Just fly. There you go. And this is another location. Go. For the last one, guys, I wasn't able to record this, but from the mansion, just go straight. Remember this? The musketeer pirate. And at the back of his house, this is the location. Okay, so that's it for the floating turtle location. Next up, guys, the great tree. Guys, there are only two locations here from what I know. So from the quest giver, turn left. There you go. Just keep going and you will find it here on this location. Again, one more time. Again, from the quest giver, just turn to your left you will find it okay okay so next up again to the right side now it's to the right from the spawn point just go straight and you will find it where you will find the pineapple from the observation upgrade quest observation hockey version 2 upgrade quest okay so next up guys hydra hmm, we have i think like four locations here so first up from the port first one is located here okay very easy to locate. Next up, 
from the Dragon Crew Archers. You know the location of those archers? Just go down and this is the other location of those elite players. Okay. Next up, guys. Again, from the port. Okay, so again, we are here in the port. Check that out. The spawn NPC. Go just cross the waterfalls. And you will find the third location. There you go. That's him. There you go. Okay, so last one. From the top of the mountain. From the spawn point NPC. There you go. This is the final location. Oh, and before I forget, sometimes they will ask you to locate one in the port town. The first C. Check this out. This is stone, right? The boss in this island. Just fly towards the mountain and this is the location. Okay? I think that's it. If I missed something, just comment it on the comment section and let others know. Okay, so now guys, where do you find Enma Yama? So, in the Hydra Island, the waterfalls, on the bottom of it, you just go through the water and you will locate this door. Use your skills and this will be destroyed. You will fight some mobs and after that, you can just start clicking the sword. Okay, again, this will only work if you have defeated 30 elite players. So guys, here is the Yama. Again, you need 300 mastery to be able to use two skills. This is the normal left click. There you go. Again, please. The slower version. One, two, three, and four. Wow, guys. For me, it's cool. For the first skill, we have the Hellish Slash that can't be unlocked at mastery 150. So that's it. Question, is it a long range attack? Yes, it is a long range attack. It can also be used as a short range attack, which is so cool. Next up is the Infernal Hurricane. There's a charge first and boom. Guys, this one is so cool. Check that out. You can unlock this at Mastery 300. You can also increase the damage by using Hockey. And again, guys, check that aura. Boom. For me, it is so cool. Regarding the aura, okay? But the skills, not bad, not bad. So how about you guys? What do you think? Is it good? Is it worth it? Comment it on the comment section. So that will be it for this video. I hope that you learned something and I hope that you unlock this sword. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. See you on my next video, guys. Bye-bye.